Hi folks, Double Crown at your service, and today we're at Indie Park about to play Drafts. Now this player, he's very good, I've just lost to him. I'm going to try again, and uh, this time I'm hoping for a better outcome. Uh, yeah, he was, he was very good, uh, very strong, so uh, I'm not... Uh, imagining that I'm going to do too well here, but uh, I'll give it a go. Well, he gave me a thumbs down, probably because I lost last time, but let's see how we get on this time. Now, I tried to get to the sides of the board. That's the f first thing I usually do. So, for example, here. I'm moving to the side of the board, the right hand side. And he had a tendency to move into the middle of the board. So it'll be interesting to see how this develops. Now, again, I can run to the side of the board there. I'm not sure how it helps me. But uh, that's what I tend to do. And yeah, now I've got a free run there. Right now, what do we do? Well, I could move my back piece. If I move here, see if I move here, he can potentially take two pieces. So, uh, so I'm going to uh, going to move this piece here. As I say, he's a very strong player, so uh, I'm hoping I can manage a draw against him, but uh, well, he's taking his time, and uh, I can run to this edge here now. So again, we've got the right hand side covered. Okay, now I can force an exchange. So, even at the minute. And now if you look at my back rank and you look at his back rank, his back rank is completely intact. He's got all four pieces on his back rank there. Uh, whereas I'm, uh, uh, I've moved the piece. So, uh, and it looks like I may be forced to move again. Now, I, I, I'd moved to the sides originally, but I'm now moving um, towards the center of the board. As you can see now, he's, he's won a piece there. I'm in a bit of bother here. Well, he wins a piece, and the uh, question is, can I win a piece too? Well, it looks like I'm just going to have to lose a piece. So, because he can now take two pieces and I will get one back. Well, 
Well, he's giving me the thumbs down. He's not happy for some reason. I don't know why, because he just won the last game. Now, you can see my back rank. I've only got two pieces left on the back. And he is also dominating the, the centre of the board. So, I'm, I'm kind of in trouble here. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to try and rush to the edge. He'll probably take the edge off me, but that means I can then move uh, forward still. Yeah, he moved to the edge and that allows me to move forward. Now he can rush for a king, which he's done. I've got no option now but to move my my back pieces. And try and stop him. Yeah, I mean, this is beginning to look a bit awkward for me. I'm running out of options here. Anyway, I've blocked, I've blocked his uh, movement forward for the time being. But he is a piece ahead, so he has the advantage. Can I squeeze a draw out of this? Right, okay, well he's forced me to take. And that allows me to get a king. He's now forced to take and I've got a rush for a king here. There we go. Which is good news for me. Yeah, I'll probably get the king. And the great thing once you get the king is you can just really shuffle your king around. And you don't have to move your other pieces too much. So that's going to be my aim. Now he's rushing in that direction. He's rushing to the edge of the board there. And I don't need to move my other pieces too much. Now I'm threatening a take here. I'm threatening to take two of his pieces. So uh, what's he going to do? He forces me to take, which I do. Okay, and now threatening. Well, now he gets a rush for a king. Yeah, when I'm forced to move away. So he gets a king now. So it's beginning to look 
uh, ominous for me. And I think he's a piece ahead. You can see I've got six black pieces and he's got seven white pieces. And he's about to king. Uh, but I can now threaten to take his piece. And my king there is not doing a lot. Badly positioned there. Right, he's he's got a king and I get to take a free piece. So we're now back um, even Stevens in terms of pieces. And uh, well, he can threaten to take one of my pieces. I imagine he's going to move his king forward, threatening my piece there. Well, he didn't do that. Now what do I do? Well, I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. Well, I'm going to do this. I imagine he's going to move his piece forward in between my king and my piece, which means I'll be forced to move forward again. So we're even now in terms of pieces. He has four black pieces. I've got four white pieces and we both have a king each. So I've got a chance of a draw here. Now I've got a rush for a king, and he gets a second king too. Okay, he's threatening my piece there, so I'm going to have to rush for a king again with my other piece. And now I'm relatively safe. I can now rush this piece for a king. So he's, he's about to get three kings, and I've potentially got three kings as well. Well, I've got two kings, and I'm going to king again here. Now you can see I'm stuck in that corner there, that top right-hand corner. So I'm going to have to move my kings out of that corner for fear of getting them trapped, which is exactly what he's trying to do. Now I can do a king-for-king king exchange here. Which gives me a bit of breathing space. And I'm moving into the centre of the board. Now I don't really need to move my pieces at the minute. I could move this to the corner of the board. sure whether that's going to help me. The important thing for me now is to get the kings out and to get them uh, out of this uh, top right hand corner 
the top left hand corner is actually better for me. So, well, I think it might be safe if I uh, rush to an edge here. I want to try and get into this uh, bottom right hand corner if I can, which he's dominating because that's the that's the safe corner. The bottom right, the sorry, the bottom right hand and the top left hand corners are the ones to are the ones to really go for. Well, the question is, what do I do now? He's, he's, he's potentially trapping my king here. Um, and then the other king. And that allows me now to get my uh, third king. So yeah, it's looking good. It's looking very good. Well, he's certainly taking his time. It's 16 minutes we're into this game. And I'm about to get my third king here. Now he can force an exchange of kings here. But uh, that doesn't really help him. But whatever happens, I get a king here now. Well, I'm going to move into this corner because, as I said, this top left hand corner is a good corner because you can just shuffle your king back and forth between those two black squares, which is what I plan to do. And the question is now what else do I do? I don't have to move that king that's stuck on the edge there and I can just kind of shuffle my kings around now I think that's what I'll do in fact Yeah, I mean, he's not doing a great deal, so I just can uh, shuffle my kings back and forth now. Well, he gets his third king. He's got a run to get his third king now and uh, I can now threaten his king away I guess now it's beginning to look like a draw I can just shuffle my kings back and forth and he will get his third king, and we've got pieces stuck on this left-hand side. Um, a piece of each, and yeah, I can just carry on shuffling. There's nothing to do here apart from shuffle. He's forced to move his king away. Okay, well, he's allowed me to take his... Oops, he's allowed me to take his king strange rush back I'm in no hurry to move my uh, uh, my my piece there on the left hand side I can just keep shuffling my kings
So three kings versus two. I've potentially got a win here. But um, I'm not particularly confident. Oops. My, uh, the chat logs keep coming up. My control is a bit uh, not working properly. Okay, now can I win a piece? Can I win a piece here? By moving into the middle of those two pieces, I think I've won a piece here. He's kind of forced to move his king away. And I win. Question is, can I get a victory now? Well, he's, he's made it easy for me. Well, he's thrown the game away now. Not sure why that would be. So, yeah, we get a victory. And as I say, he'd just beaten me. Um, but, yeah, let's exit that. I'll say thanks, despite the fact that he gave me a thumbs down. And another victory. We chalk up another victory. And we'll say goodbye to him as well. So, yeah, that's drafts. And that's how you play drafts. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.